Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube. Thank you so much for being here. So right now I'm about to watch the finale for Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm so excited about this. I have loved watching this show, as you guys know. If you've been following me watching the other episodes, it's been such a great show. I, I hope they make another season. I really do, because this is, uh, this deserves another season. It's that good. This is, this is up there with one of my favorite shows, I gotta say. Like, I really have enjoyed this. I loved Boba Fett as well. I really loved Boba Fett. Um, it's, so it's like, in the past, so I've had this channel now for almost two years. Started this channel in 2020, um, in September. I think I put out my first video in September 2020, so it's been almost two years. And I gotta say, like, Obi-Wan Kenobi is one of my favorite shows that I've watched on here, on YouTube, on the channel. And uh, I've watched a lot of great shows. I've watched a lot of great shows since I started. But this show is awesome. Awesome. And I like it because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Star Wars fan. I have been my whole life since I was a little girl. I'm also a Star Trek fan. Um, and I think it's funny when people say, well, you can't be both. You can't be a Trekkie and a Star Wars fan. I'm like, why not? Yes, you can. I mean, I, I love both. I think they're both amazing. I love science fiction, so why wouldn't I love both? Um, but I haven't told that before. It's pretty funny. But anyway, uh, this show I think was really well done. And I'm kind of giving my wrap up right now before I start the finale. So I guess maybe I should wait to see the finale to see if I really love it as much as I do right now. But so far, this show for me has not disappointed me. It's been amazing. It's been better than I thought it was going to be. So that's that like that really says something to me. Cause like, as you, for those of you that know me very well, you know that I go into things not setting super high expectations. I get excited about things. And I was very excited about this show, but I, I always do my best to keep my expectations pretty balanced because I don't want to be totally let, let down. I don't want to be let down. And it, it's kind of, I mean, it's, it's, it's not fun when I get let down, you know, when I let myself down. It's not so much where it's like the show that, you know, the creators of the show let me down. It's more like, let me set a reasonable bar for what I think this is going to be. And if my, if the show exceeds that bar, it's a pleasant surprise. And if it doesn't, it's like, okay, well, whatever. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it wasn't as good as I, as I was hoping, but I didn't like have these unreal expectations. This show has been for me this has gone way far above and beyond how good i thought it was going to be I, I i did think it was going to be good i did believe that especially because of the actors that returned specifically i also love this story i love where where uh in the timeline this story takes place and i love um i love obi-wan so i love him, him as a character um so I, I, I thought it was going to be good, but to me, this is this has exceeded how good I thought it was going to be. This has gone, this is above that. It's exceeded my expectations. The expectations I didn't have. <laughs> yeah, so I've been, I'm very happy with this show. I think the writers and the director, Deborah Chow, they did, they've done a great job. All the actresses are amazing. Um, I just, I think everyone in this show has been fantastic. So I'm super stoked to watch the finale right now. And I'm so glad you guys are here with me to watch it. So let's get going. This is a, uh, I hope they come with a season two. I wonder if they leave this last episode open where it's like likely they'll come out with a season two, you know? I wonder. All right, you guys ready? Let's get to this. This is Obi-Wan Kenobi, episode six, part six. Here we go. Revenge does wonders for the will to live, don't you think? Oh boy, oh boy. So it was interesting, you know, when when um, when the third sister killed uh, Rupert Friend in the beginning, um, I was really upset about that. I was like, oh, I wanted to see Rupert Friend, you know, in the show more than he was, and now I'm kind of kind of upset that he's back because <laughs> now she's not the Grand Inquisitor, and I want her to be the Grand Inquisitor. I hope she survives that, that injury. I think you just put her in one of those tanks, right? And she can get healed. Wait your turn. You can have what's left when I'm done. Oh, nice. Good. She survived it. Look 
looking for a farmer. Name is Owen. But why is she going to see Owen? Like, why is she doing that? Isn't she against Vader? I'm scared. She keeps their minds off of it. No. Maybe I should borrow her too. Yeah. Luke Skywalker. As soon as I'm in the clear. You have my word. Although I know the word of a liar and a fake Jedi may not mean much to you. It's good enough for me. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Jah. It's good enough, yeah. She'll come when the suns go down. Best we got position now. Oh, God. I have something for you. Broken found it before we got out. She would have wanted you to have it. Oh. Look at that. Oh. I have to face him, Master. Whether he dies or I do. Oh God. I wish they would show Liam Neeson a little bit too. <laughs> People follow you. Don't stop. Don't stop. Just get started. Hmm. Follow Kenobi. At once, Lord Vader. Uh, he was right. They're following Kenobi and letting everyone else go. Stay in here. If anything goes wrong, you you know what to do. You run. I'm not afraid. So I know what I know what the third sister is doing. She's coming to get Luke because she knows if she gets Luke, she can draw Vader in because Va that's Luke is Vader's son, right? Isn't that what's going on? I feel like she's I feel like she's going to use she's going to use Luke as bait to draw Anakin in, Vader in. Oh Lola. Oh, she sent Lola with him. <laughs> so he wouldn't be alone. Lola. Oh God, here we go. Have you come to destroy me, Obi-Wan? I will do what I must. Then you will die. My God. <sighs> Third sister, you need to be using a blue lightsaber. Oh no. She's gonna kill them. Wow. Has returned. Still remains. Wow. Oh. Oh. No. Why you will always lose. <gasps> no. Oh my god. Oh god. Come on, Obi-Wan. I love him. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Yeah, yeah. Whoa, wow. Whoa, he injured. He really injured Vader. Whoa. Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Wow, what? Oh my god. I'm so conflicted in scenes like this because I love Obi-Wan, but I feel compassion for Vader, Anakin. Oh my god. That's, oh jeez, yep. Anakin. I wonder if this is Hayden Christensen. Anakin's gone. I am what remains. Wow. I'm sorry, Anakin. For all of it. You didn't kill Anakin Skywalker. I did. Oh my god. Same way. I will destroy you. And my friend is truly dead. Goodbye, Darth. Obi-Wan! Wow. She wants justice, right? So she's probably just gonna kill him, Luke, because she knows it's Anakin's son. Don't do it, third sister. I mean, I know you don't, because I know the story, but it's like, it's like. So Look at that's you. You're seeing exactly. Don't become like him, like Vader. Can't kill a child. Now is she carrying him? She is. Wow. I couldn't do it. Of course you couldn't. I failed him. He killed them all and I couldn't do it. You didn't fail anyone. You haven't failed them. By showing mercy. You have given them peace. Exactly. Have I become him? No, you have not become him. Who you become now? That is up to you. Now you are free. We both are. Wow. My god, I hope that the third sister and Obi-Wan, I hope that there's another season and they work together. You seem agitated, my friend. I wonder if your thoughts are clear on this, Lord Vader. I serve only you, my master. Dun, 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 dun. God, this theme song is so powerful. I love it. <laughs> you said there were many ways to leave. Looks like I was right. Uh, oh, Lola and Obi Wan. We can never repay you. Well, she has already done that. The Empire grows stronger and bolder. Yeah. What do you think I should do? I think you should sleep. <laughs> sleep. <laughs> I think you're right. I'm sure he needs some sleep. 
Princess Leia Organa. You are wise, kind-hearted. These are qualities that came from your mother. Passionate and fearless, forthright. And these are gifts from your father. Oh, wow. Will I ever see you again? Maybe. Someday. If you ever need help from a tired old man. <laughs> Goodbye. Obi Wan. No, Obi Wan. You know, you were right. He just needs to be a boy. Exactly. He just needs to be able to be a kid, a boy. Take good care of him. Good job, Owen. I'm brave. You want to meet him? Good. Luke. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. So cool. That just made the whole show. That right there. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> oh, him introducing himself to Luke Skywalker. Oh, look at... Is it Liam Neeson? I see. Master Qui-Gon. It is. It's Qui-Gon. Took you long enough. Beginning to think you'd never come. I was always here, Obi-Wan. <laughs> you just were not ready to see. <laughs> come on. We've got a ways to go. <laughs> that is so awesome. He's just like... I've always been here, you just weren't ready to see. Even someone as powerful, even a Jedi as powerful as Obi-Wan, and he still has so much to learn. <sighs> Amazing. Deborah Chow, you freaking rock. Rock, rock, rock. God, that was awesome. You know, and I just love how it's like the Jedi, you know, they're always students, you know, even when they become so powerful and they're and, and become masters, they're still students. And that's the one thing about Anakin, you know, it's almost like he, his ego stopped having him realize that he was still always a student, a student of the force a student of, you know, the Jedi, just a student, you know, and it's, it, it just, it just reminds me of real life. Cause it's like, I'm working with, um, one of my mentors right now. You could say one of my masters, but no, she's one of my mentors. She is a, a woman in her seventies. Um, and she happens to be from India and I've been working with her on and off for about 12 years. And, and she's, a a very powerful leader, change maker in her own right. And, you know, just when I, when I watch the Jedi, it just kind of reminds me of, of things that she tells me all the time, because she always says, you know, even though I've come so far in the work that I do with her, um, it's, I'm, I, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll always be a student. And just like she is, she's, she's still a student, even though she's been doing this kind of work for like 50, 40 or 50 years of her life. Um, so it just reminded me of that at the end there where Qui-Gon, you know, said that I've always been here. You just weren't ready to see me, you know, reminding Obi-Wan once again that he will always be a student. You know, there will always be things for him to learn. And, uh, I just think that's so beautiful. I think it's so important to approach everything in life as from a student's mindset, you know, not from like I, I and and I know it all mindset, 
because I feel like anytime we're certain about anything in life, we'd leave no room for other possibilities to be present. And I don't know, I feel like, uh, I feel like it's better to be kind of like in a space, in a mindset space of knowing what we know, definitely, because I know that we all know a lot. We all know a lot, I know that. But being in the mindset space of realizing that we still will always be learning till the day we die, we just will. You know, it's one of those things. I mean, we're never gonna be able to know it all. And so um, it's just that a lot of the Jedi reminds, reminds me of that. And I really, really love that so much. It's beautiful. What a fantastic show. That was awesome. And I loved what happened with the third sister at the end there. The Grand Inquisitor. She, what happened with her there at the end was very poetic, you know? It was um, bittersweet. She almost became exactly like Anakin at the end there, and then she chose not to. She chose not to give in to the dark side in that moment. And I think that's so beautiful because it leaves such an open storyline for her to to come back and 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 work alongside, you know, Obi Wan. Like the second season could be her and him together in much of that in much of that season working together as allies um, because she's no longer you know hunting vader necessarily and uh, she's not allowing the dark side to take her over anymore so i would be really interested to see that i would be interested to see a second season where it's obi-wan kenobi of course however she's also you know involved in that in 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 so far that this time around the next time around she's actually working with him as opposed to working against him i think that would be a really amazing really amazing it was sad really sad lo losing tala and the loader <laughs> i feel like tala and loader had a really good relationship kind of like uh you know um like leia and and r2 and c3po and luke and c3po and r2 um, yeah, I felt like Tala and the Loader had that, you know, kind of special bond, droid and human bond. And I know that in these movies and in all movies with droids, well, not all movies, because some movies with droids, they, they become sentient, sentient beings. Uh, but in particular Star Wars, they're, you know, not necessarily sentient. But for me, I always relate to them like they're sentient, the droids in the Star Wars um, universe. Um, so I get quite emotional whenever I see one of the droids get hurt, harmed, damaged, killed. <laughs> I don't like it at all, as you can tell. And um, I just thought it was kind of sad in that scene where the loader uh, came over to her as it was it was being destroyed, being shot to death by by the um, by the stormtroopers. You know, it came over to her as it you know as, as it died, and then Tala used you know that that whatever that was like a, like a bomb, like grenade kind of type thing to blow each other up. Her and him, her and it. Um, to to kill off a bunch of the stormtroopers to to uh, save everyone else. So it was a very it was an emotional scene and very beautiful, very well done. Uh, and I just I loved everything about this show. I thought it was awesome. I love all the actors. It was so great seeing Hayden Christensen again. Was that Hayden Christensen at the end under Vader's mask once he got cut sliced open by um, Obi Wan? Was that him? I've got. I've got bright ring lights in my room, and so sometimes when the when the TV screen is dark, I have a little bit of a hard time making out what's what's there. Just a little bit. So was that Hayden Christensen? I hope it was. Underneath the mask, right there at, at the end scene, there where Obi Wan split his mask open. I really hope it was him. Um, it looked like him. I just couldn't tell for sure. It was really good seeing Hayden Christensen. I kind of wished I had have seen him a little more. By the way, was he the one, 
I, I mean, I guess we wouldn't see him a little more because it's, he's he's under Vader's mask now. And but but was was he the person playing Darth Vader in this show? I'm interested in knowing because I didn't look that up. So if he was the one playing Darth Vader, then he was actually in this show a lot. <laughs> I just didn't know if it was him or just a like a body double. I wasn't sure, or a um, like a stuntman or a stand-in or something like that. I wasn't sure. But uh, I'd love to know. You guys tell me in the comments below if that was Hayden Christensen. I would love to know. And just an awesome show. I thought it was great. I love this show. Did you guys love this show? I really did. I really loved it. Yeah, that was that was awesome. I loved it. I loved the little girl played Leia. I love the whole cast. The whole cast was great. I love seeing Rupert Friend again. He was awesome as the other Grand Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Uh, and it was great hearing James Earl Jones' uh, voice as Vader. That's such... It's amazing. That theme song, Vader's theme song, is so powerful, isn't it? It's like the Jaws theme song. It has, it resonates that much with me just because when I was a little girl, hearing both the Vader theme song and the Jaws theme song freaked me right out. I actually watched Jaws, the original, for the first time here on my channel. If you guys haven't seen it, I have my reaction to it here on the channel. And, uh, I had seen other Jaws movies, but I hadn't seen the original, and the original was fantastic. Wow, that was a, a very, very good movie. And I still can't believe it was only rated PG, because it was scary. It was, I mean, it was scary to a certain extent, but I mean, that movie, having a kid watch Jaws, is, that's like, that will give a child nightmares forever, especially about going in the water. I mean, I don't think any kid would want to go in the water after watching that that movie. I just, that was so scary. And I remember going to Universal Studios in, in Los Angeles and they had like, like, like the fake um, great white shark come out of the water as you're like going on this little thing past the water. And it looks so fake in person. Like, it's just like, it's so fake. But the movie, the movie with with the whole theme and the soundtrack and everything oh my god that was it was really 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 well done very well done anyways you guys thank you so much for joining me in my journey to watch obi-wan kenobi it was amazing i loved it i loved that show so much i do hope they come out with a season two just like i hope they come out with a season two of boba fett i loved boba fett that show was amazing the book of boba fett it was so awesome and uh yeah, I look forward to getting on to my next show. It's been so great hanging out with you guys. I'm now going to start watching the latest season of The Boys. I love The Boys. What a great show. Okay, you guys. Bye. Be safe wherever you are in the world, whether it's day or night, wherever you are. Have a great day, great night. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you so much for tuning back in time after time to watch my videos and hang out with me. Thank you guys for all your support. See you soon. Yeah, we never liked those, the ones that keep us growing.